Hello guys, uh, if we see the control panel of the equipment used in oil and gas industry, uh, we can see that on this control panel there are two type of uh, uh, kill buttons uh, that are used to stop the engine. These kill buttons are normal kill and the emergency kill. So uh, today uh, in this tutorial uh, we will try to understand that what is the difference between these two kill button that is normal kill and emergency kill how does they work and when to use which uh, mechanism that is which button okay so let's uh, try to understand uh, with the help of these diagrams So here uh, you can see uh, this one, this is the panel from the coil tubing unit, a CTU panel. So on the top here, as you can see, this is actually uh, which is mentioned engine control. This is the normal kill uh, and it have the shutdown, ignition and start position. So when the engine is in the start position that the engine is running, uh, this knob will be on the ignition point. And when we want to shut down the engine, we will just turn it back to the shutdown position and the engine will be shut down or engine will be closed. So this one is uh, the normal kill, the normal shutdown mechanism, the, sh the normal procedure uh, to off the engine. Then here at the bottom we have uh, this second button mentioned as E kill, E mean emergency, emergency kill. So it have uh, on and off. So Sometimes we have to use this second button that is emergency kill. Now we will, uh, okay, so similarly uh, here on the end to panel uh, we have the same two buttons that is the normal kill and the emergency kill and then again we have the CTU panel which is from the hydra rig unit. Uh, here we have this emergency kill and the engine stop which is the normal kill okay so uh, now we will discuss that uh, how does they work so talking about the first uh, method that is a normal kill when we press this normal kill button what happens it shut off or it is stop the supply of the diesel of course you know that for the running or for the working of an engine uh, we need to supply the two things that is diesel and air mixture so when we press this normal kill button, it will shut off or it will stop the supply of the diesel and once the diesel supply is cut off, it stop. so ultimately the engine will be stopped. So this is the working mechanism of the normal kill. Talking about the second uh, kill uh, mechanism or the second killing method that is emergency kill, when we press this emergency kill button, what happens? It actually shut off the air supply. And we have already discussed that for the running of the engine, we need uh, the supply of the air and the diesel. So in this second case, once the supply of the air is shut off, it is not being supplied to the engine. What will happen? This engine will stop working and it will be uh, shut off or it will be off. Now here the question arises that when we have to use the normal kill and when we have to use the emergency kill. So to understand this one. Uh, consider the working environment on a gas well. When we are working on a gas well and due to any reason if there is some leakage what will happen there will be the gas uh, traces in the air. Okay, So in that particular scenario if we press the normal kill the engine will not be shut. The quite possible that engine is not shut because uh, when the engine is sucking the air from the environment it will have the traces of the hydrocarbons in it so it and if we cut off the supply of the diesel because it will be getting a mixture of air and hydrocarbons from the air so quite possible it is not getting shut so in that case we have to press the emergency kill that is we have to cut off the air supply so in that case engine will be shut off so when we are working on a gas well and uh, there is a probability of the hydrocarbons in the air then we have to use emergency kill and in the normal operation we have to use normal kill. So that was a discussion about that uh, what is the difference between normal kill, emergency kill, how does they work and when 